All right, now I don't want to hear no fat jokes in the comments section about guys. I'm trying to make paint and pipe interesting. You know how hard it is to make it interesting for somebody to watch paint dry. What's up guys, this is Daniel from Arms Family Homestead and it is time for another workday on the fence project. So you guys last saw in the last fencing video we did when the school bus got stuck and all that fiasco happened and yes I had dirt on my face and none of the people there told me I had dirt on my face as I'm talking to a camera. But anyways, we got all the welding completed on the actual fence structure itself. We're still going to have to build some gates so there'll be more welding later on. So the welding's done. As you can see, this is gonna be an archway for a walkthrough gate next to the barn here. Stretch post, stretch post, all the corner posts, all that stuff is, is welded and ready to go. I did come back with a grinder and kind of grind all my welds down to get all that slag off because we're gonna paint all this stuff. Now, here's the thing. All right, all this pipe has been laying here on my property for years. And originally it was probably old oil field drill stem pipe. So it's rusted. So I did come in with the grinder when I was when I was grinding out my welds and knocking that slag off and knock off any of the big pieces of rust and things. Then I came back and here's the part, somebody probably won't agree with this, but I just took uh, about a half a gallon of gasoline and a rag and wiped everything down. Tried to knock as much of the surface dirt off as I could. Now, open the barn. We, like I said, we are gonna be painting, but it's just, it's just for looks and it'll probably help with some of the rust over the next few years but that pipe will be in the ground here it'll last longer than i will even unpainted so what kind of fence are we going to build went and picked up materials Woo! I'm the man in dark here so a lot of people have been wanting to know what kind of wire and what kind of stuff we're going to be using so i went to the store went and picked up my wire and stuff t-post so what we're going to be using is a field fence, a sheep and goat field fence. Well, it's kind of it's kind of hard to see it on the roll there, but it's 48 inches tall, so we're going to build four foot tall, and then we're going to put a barbed wire above that a few inches, so it'll be four and a half, maybe close to five feet tall. I may end up doing two barbed wires over the top. We'll just see how tall it gets, and if I feel like I need another one, we'll put it there. The field fence that we're using is four by four woven wire, so four inch by four inch squares, which should keep my goats from getting their heads stuck in the fence. Uh, that's a pain. The only time we may have an issue with a goat getting their head stuck, little bitty kids, when they first get little nubs on their head, can get stuck in a four by four hole. But once they get you know, past that one little stage, they're fine. So back to the painting project. I'm gonna go change clothes real quick because when I paint, I'm kind of like a, like a bear cub in a dumpster. You know, it just goes everywhere. So we're gonna throw some paint on here. Gonna use a real good oil-based paint. Now I know we could go out and get some some rust inhibitor and clean all that pipe up really well and then get a primer and put a primer on there and then come back and paint. That may be the proper way of doing it. We're building a fence for goats. Let's not overcomplicate things. So I'm just, I bought some good oil based paint. We're gonna slap some paint on there because my wife wanted it to match the barn. So we're going with like that color and I was thinking the green color. She wanted that color. Happy wife, happy life, right? So. I could care less what color the posts are. I'm just gonna throw some paint on them so they look a little nicer. All right, now I don't wanna hear no fat jokes in the comments section about, you know, you, hey, you're looking a little chubby. Well, guys, it's cause I got on my hoodie under the pearl snap shirt. Don't be giving me no fits about my pudgy belly. It's all in the hoodie, I promise. So if you're gonna be out here painting pipe, just, I mean, it's nothing fancy. You don't go overboard. Keep it simple, stupid. You know, I go with the KISS method. So as I said, we're gonna be using a, a good oil-based paint. I like the name here, Tough Coat. I mean, that ought to be pretty tough, right? So one tip I will give you though, this, this is real. If you're gonna be painting pipe or painting fence like this, go out and get you a $2 disposable paint mitt. These things are the only way to go when painting pipe like this. Now if you've got like 300 yards of pipe three rail pipe fence to paint. You may want to get somebody with a sprayer. No more than what I've got to do. The mitt works best. It's 10 times faster than a roller. 
because you're painting a round surface. A brush would, yeah, would work. But I'm telling you what, these little $3 disposable paint mitts work perfect. Now, I will say this. They're messy. They're extra messy. So to combat the mess, one thing I'd, I started buying these a while back. They're flashy, aren't they? And they're not like latex gloves you get at the doctor's office. I buy these on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description box down below to all this stuff. But this oil-based paint's really hard to get off. Well, these latex gloves are what you would see in a mechanics workshop. They're a very thick latex and they have a little rubber stubble grip on them. You definitely want to put something on under this mitt because it has a plastic liner, but I've never used one of these and it not bled paint through. So, quick tip. There you go. You're welcome. All right, it's time to make a mess. <laughs> it's like a lamb high five, sheep five. I guess it kind of looks like a lamb's, a lamb's hoof, but you know, nah. terrible joke. Guys, I'm trying to make paint and pipe interesting. You know how hard it is to make it interesting for somebody to watch paint dry? This is like every little kid's finger painting dream. Put on a glove and paint. I already got paint on my boots. Got paint on my shirt. Well, if you're still watching, I feel like my YouTube career is a total success because you literally just watch paint dry on YouTube. And I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Now I'm gonna try not to get paint all over my camera. Somebody didn't think this through ahead of time. I need a full-time videographer. Anybody willing to travel to Oklahoma and be a full-time camera person for very little to no pay? I may feed you some goat meat or some tomatoes out of the garden. I, rest is on you, but job's open if anybody wants it. All done. Time for some cleanup. Let's see how well my paint glove held up. Not too bad. It leaked a little over here. That's actually pretty good. I'm pretty surprised. But best thing about these paint mitts, cleanup is a cinch. Now. You know me, I always have crap all over my face. Tell you what, it makes a difference when you have the right tool for the job. It seems like you guys call me out. Bear? Bear tried to run off with the old paint glove. You know me, do I have anything on my face? I don't see anything. I call it a success, because you guys like to call me out when I get my face dirty. Well that's it, simple as that. Got all the posts painted out here. Everything's ready to go. Ready to start driving T-posts and stretching wire and. We'll be almost done soon. I've got, we're gonna build our gates. We're probably not gonna buy pre-built gates. I'll just go get the material and, and weld up some gates that the goats can't get through. But guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry if you didn't enjoy watching paint dry, but I, I promise I'll, I'll probably never make you guys do that again. Bear didn't seem to mind it though, did you buddy? You just sit there and watch the paint dry the whole time. <laughs> well guys, that's all I've got for today. Thanks for coming along. I hope you enjoyed it. 
Eh, might not have been the most exciting video we've ever posted, but uh, sometimes work on the farm is not all exciting. It's fun. I enjoy getting out here and painting, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching us. The guys, like the, the, the guys here, enjoyed it. I know that. So, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Y'all have a great day, and as always, we'll see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.